Hello, everybody. Welcome to another family craft at Cottonwood Public Library. And um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I came up with the idea for this craft. And um, I was kind of looking for some fall, autumn, harvest time kind of um, books and, and crafts to come up with. And um, I found this book, which is called Possum's Harvest Moon. And it's a really cute story that I'm going to read to you. And then on the same note, I found this book called Possum in the House. Now, if you look at the two books, you can kind of see that the possums look different. Um, and the, the animal that we know as an opossum in North America um, is a little different from what they have in Australia. The one in Australia looks more kind of like a little um, cat in some ways, but they both have prehensile tails, so they use their tails to grab uh, branches that they might be um, climbing in or whatever. Um, opossums, the North American opossum, um, lives in, you know, back east and in some of the southern states. And um, in some cases, they're kind of considered pests. Um, in other cases, people think they're really cute. Um, they do, you, they're kind of like skunks here. They do get into people's garbage cans and gardens and things like that. Um, but they usually live in the forest and they eat all kinds of stuff. So if you lived in that area, you definitely wouldn't want to leave cat or dog food out because <laughs> they would raid that. Um, so anyway, um... They're kind of cute, and so today we're going to be making an, a little opossum <laughs> that you can kind of hang around. But I wanted to read to you um, Possum's Harvest Moon. And this book is, Word and Pictures are by Ann Hunter. So not only did she write the book, but she also did the pictures for it, which is kind of neat. There's not a lot of authors that do that. Possum awoke one autumn evening, shining through the grass was the biggest, brightest, yellowest moon. Oh, said Possum, the harvest moon. And that's what we've had just in the past uh, few days. Halloween, we had a nice big harvest moon. What a perfect night for a party. One last dance in the moonlight before the long, cold winter. A harvest soiree. Possum hung the grass with little lanterns and berries. Then he hurried off to invite his guests. Mice, mice, Possum cried at the meadow's edge. Come to my harvest moon party. We must gather seeds for the winter, said mice. We are too busy to come to your party. Next, Possum peered into a pile of leaves. Come on, crickets, hop along to my party under the bright harvest moon. We are tired from singing all summer, said the crickets. The night air is too cold now, and this leaf pile is so snug. Down by the creek, Possum found raccoon catching fish. Dry your hands, old raccoon. Come to the last hurrah of the year. Oh, I would, I would, growled raccoon, but, but I must be good and fat for the long winter. So much to eat, so little time. Possum followed the creek to the pond. Frogs, frogs, Possum shouted. Come sing and dance under the great, great moon. Come to my harvest soiree. Too late, too late, chorused the frogs. It's time for us to go underground for the winter. Possum turned sadly toward home and he looked up to the twinkling sky. Oh, fireflies, can you? Could you come to my party? The fireflies twinkled silently back at him. Oh. How could they work on such a beautiful night? Possum asked himself. How can they think of sleep in such moonlight? He put on his hat and sat alone, mm. looking up at the great harvest moon. And look at all the goodies he's got there. 
The great harvest moon rose higher. It shone down through the grass and under the leaves. It made every tired and busy creature pause. It was a moon that made them dream of dancing, of eating and singing. Toes twitched and voices hummed. How could they possibly miss Possum's Harvest Soiree? Raccoon rousted his crony rabbit. The crickets <laughs> invited their cousins, the katydids. The mice brought the moles. The peepers hopped after the frogs. They hurried and scurried while the night was still young. Possum could hear squeaking and scampering from all directions. And the guests arrived. They brought seeds and berries, fiddles and songs, and all together they gazed up at the face of the great harvest moon. Rabbit and raccoon settled in down by the food. They nibbled and nodded. Never, never in all our years, they agreed. Has the harvest moon been so bright? No, never. The mice danced until the crickets played every jig twice and the frogs grew hoarse from singing. The fireflies' lights flickered and dimmed. A cool breeze ruffled over the tired creatures as the moon sank low. It was time to go home. Home to dens and nests and holes and burrows. Time for winter's long sleep. Good night, squeaked the mice. Great party, chirped the, trick, the crickets. Until next spring, growled old raccoon. Farewell, piped the frogs. See you next year, said possum. And he waved until every last guest was gone. Possum curled up in his own snug home. Oh. He looked out to see the last light of the great moon peeking through the grass. Oh, good night, yawned Possum. Good night. And that's Possum's Harvest Moon. That was really cute. <laughs> now this is a little different Possum. This is a Possum that's the kind that lives in Australia. And I think this Possum because he kind of lives near people, is a little more rambunctious than maybe the opossum we read about earlier. This was written by Kirsten Jensen. There's a possum in the house and he's hiding in the pantry. Help! Help! screamed Dad. Oh, drat! yelled Mom. Crunch! Crunch! went the cornflakes. Screech! Screech! went the possum as he ran into the kitchen. There's a possum in the kitchen and he's hiding in the cupboard. Help, help, screamed mom. Oh, drat, yelled dad. Chatter, chatter, chatter went the, or excuse me, clatter, clatter, <laughs> clatter went the pots. Screech, screech went the possum as he ran into the laundry. He's pretty mischievous. There's a possum in the laundry and he's hiding in the basket. Help, help, screamed dad. Oh, drat, yelled mom. Rip, rip went the shirt. Screech, oh. screech went the possum as he ran into the study. There's a possum in the study and he's hiding in the bookshelves. Help, help, screamed mom. Oh, drat, yelled dad. Russell, Russell went the pages. Screech, screech went the possum as he ran into the den. He's going everywhere in the house. There's a possum in the den and he's hiding by the stereo. Help, help, screamed dad. Oh, drat, yelled mom. Scratch, scratch, went the record. Screech, screech, went the possum as he ran into the bathroom. Mm. There's a possum in the bathroom and he's hiding in the drawer. Help, help, screamed mom. Oh, drat, yelled dad. Squirt, squirt, went the toothpaste. Screech, screech, went the possum as he jumped into oh. the toilet. Oh, no. There's a oh. possum in the toilet and he's hiding 
There's a possum in the bathroom and he's hiding in the toilet. Help, help, screamed Dad. Oh, drat, yelled Mom. Splash, splash went the water. Screech, screech went the possum as he ran into my bedroom. <laughs> oh. There's a possum in my bedroom and he's sleeping on my bed. Poor thing, said Mom. He's tired, said Dad. Snore, snore went the possum. So we left him there. <laughs> Those are kind of cute. They look a little bit like cats in a way. Okay, so we're going to be making a little opossum. Um, and it's out of either a toilet paper roll or this one was actually a half of a paper towel roll. And the first thing we're going to do is cover it with some kind of gray paper. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put glue on here and just wrap it around like that. So I have a brush and some glue. You know me, I like lots of glue. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint it on there and try to get it into every corner and edge. Okay, so I've got glue, whoops, I've got glue on here, and I'm just going to wrap this right around my tube. And it's a little long, but I'll have to cut it off, and then I'll have to clean the scissors. Okay. So there's a part that didn't get glued here. I'm just going to cut that off and then I'm going to seal it with some glue. My possum is causing some <laughs> trouble. Okay, cut that piece off. And then I'm just going to cut this end off here. Since I had glue on it, I'm going to wipe my scissors down because that will get you know, pretty bad. Now, when I did this, since I didn't measure, I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. It's a little bit off, but we'll make that the bottom of the possum so nobody will see it. Okay, so here is his body. Now, we need to make some little legs. And when I looked up possums um, on Google, they actually have little black legs. They're gray with black legs. And then a lot of times they have little pink toes, which I did not put on this one, but that's okay. So what I do is I get a piece of black paper like this, and I fold it four times. Now, you can draw the, the shape of the little toes and legs that you need. I usually just cut it out, freehand it, just like Mr. Jan Mark draws freehand. Uh -huh. Sometimes I can <laughs> cut freehand. So here I go doing that. And you just keep your four little pieces of paper together. It's funny, Miss Joyce. I would never have thought to just fold it four times over. Yeah. I would have done it. Either I would have cut it one by one, one each leg, by or one, two by twos. Huh? Okay, I made one toe a little bit longer, so I'm going to trim that just a little bit. They probably have a longer toe at some point. Anyway, here's what I have. One, two, three, four legs. And since these two are kind of longer than these two, I'm going to make these the hands and I'm gonna make those the legs. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use this as the bottom of my opossum. I'm going to grab, actually, I'm going to do it this way. This is real easy. I'm just going to dip <laughs> the leg into the glue like that. And I'm going to dip that one into the glue like that. So there's two of his legs looking from 
the top part of the opossum. It's going to take a little while for that to dry, so it's going to kind of move around a bit first. And I'm going to dip his hands in there. Okay, and so there's, there's the bottom of my opossum. There's the top part. I'm going to turn this over so this dries a little bit. Now, opossums are gray, at least the um, North American opossum is gray, but he has a white, um, he has a white head, his head is white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freehand cutting out kind of like a little rounded off triangle, like so. And there's his head. Okay. I'm going to put some glue on the top here. And I actually made this out of uh, white foam, but you can do it with paper, um, whatever works for you. And there is his head. Now he needs some little ears, and I'm going to grab that gray back that I actually stuck over here to get rid of and make two little ears. I'm going to fold this in half because I want to cut my ears out at the same time and um, make them kind of the same size and shape. So here are his little ears. Okay, I'm going to glue those. I'm going to dip them in the glue and glue them behind the white um, foam that I just did. Oh, hold on a second. Get the camera to focus. There you go. Okay. And so there's his head and his legs and his ears and he needs some eyes. And I forgot my eyes. Are they... They're just Google eyes. Yeah. I'll work on his tail and nose. Okay. Um, in the drawer, in the workroom. Oh. Okay. Middle drawer in the back. I think it says Shirley's drawer. Okay. Adela, can you show Jan Mark where the Google eyes are? <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I thought I had all my supplies. Okay, so his tail is going to be a pipe cleaner, a pink one. And they do, they have little pink tails. Um, not this pink, but pink enough. They're actually this color of pink, which is the nose I'm going to give them to. I think their noses are, are um, not pink. They are black. So, but I'm going to make it pink, and so I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the end of this head, and I'm using a toothpick to do that. And I'm going to put this little pink nose there. Now, that's going to give a little weight to it, so it's going to have to dry before I can actually hang him upside down. So, for his tail, I'm going to just poke a little hole in the uh, bottom of the tube. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Google eyes. You opened the drawer, they're looking at us. Yes. They're <laughs> probably looking straight at you. Okay. Now, um, on this guy, I used a hole punch. I'm not going to go grab my hole punch. So I'm just going to like punch a little hole in the bottom of my tube. There, I did it. And I want to clean my scissors again because it had glue on it and I can put this through here and I can make his tail as long as I want if I want so I'm just going to make it a little longer than the other one I have I'm going to twist it around just like a little bread tie in the refrigerator Aww. okay but He's missing something. He's missing those eyes that Mr. Jan Mark just brought me. And I think I'm going to do a little different thing. 
I don't know what color their eyes are actually. They're probably like yellow or brown or something. But this one's going to have green eyes because that Aww. looks really pretty. So I'm going to get a toothpick. And I'm going to get some, some glue. And I'm going to put a dab right there. And I'm going to put a dab right there. You know me, I use lots of glue. Uh-oh. My fingers didn't grab the other green. <laughs> okay. Two green eyes. Okay. So again, this is going to need to um, dry for a little bit. It's still kind of wet. I don't want eyes to slide or noses to fall off. So he's going to have to dry flat for a while. But here are two little opossums. That's so cool. Yeah. So opossums are just really cool animals. Um, they carry their babies um, on their backs. Their little babies will ride along on their backs. Now, interesting thing about opossums that you may not know is that they are the only animal with a pouch in North America. Now, you know a lot of animals in South... Or, in Australia have pouches. Um, so kangaroos and um, a, the possums that live there. But the only animal in North America that has a little pouch that they keep their little babies in is the opossum. Um, so they are really interesting animals. So thank you for joining us today. That was awesome. Jan Mark, do we have any like announcements or anything to make? Let's see. Um, hey, we do. So, okay. Saturday, we are having our chili cook off. Yes. At Fire Burning Tree Cellars. Burning Tree Cellars. In Old Town. In Old Town. One to five o'clock, I believe, is when it's going on. There okay. is some live music, apparently. I just found out that's kind of cool. So, um, and guys. This, this is a fundraiser for the library. Yep. So, last year, they raised. About nine hundred dollars for us to buy some oh, new books wonderful. for the library, and so that was really neat. It's a neat thing that Burning Tree does for us. So if you can go um, to the Burning Tree Cellars and join in the mm -hmm. chili cook-off, it's ten dollars to enter a crock pot of chili. Uh huh. And if you want to eat all the chili, chili like Mr. Jan plans on doing on Sunday, um, it's five dollars to taste and judge. Okay. So please nice. help Mr. Jen eat all the chili and bring some chili to help support the library. So Yay. we're very excited. I'm very excited because Mr. Jen wasn't there last year to do it, but I'm, I'm all in now. I, I love <laughs> it. It's chili season. And actually, the weather will be kind of perfect for chili season. So yes. Yes. Um, we hope that you can come. So that's our big thing going on. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for Family Craft, and have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday. That's so cool. <laughs>